questions for Javon? So, you know, I know, you know, with the offensive and defensive coordinators both have NFL experience. You know, how exciting that is that to have coaches that coach at that level, and how does that, you know, contribute to the uh, team? Well, for the offensive side, Scotty recruited me in high school, so I'm very familiar with him. Uh, he's a good coach. Always brings a lot of energy for the offense and swagger. So, you know, it's good to have him and the experience that they have at the next level. And with the defensive coordinator, you know, I haven't got to talk to him much, but I heard he's really good at what he does. So it's going to be fun to watch what he has for the defense and what we got for the offense this year. It's going to be fun. What's the dynamic like in, in the running back room? Just the amount of talent. Man, it's, it's, it's so much talent. You know, I'm competing with some of the best backs in the country, and you just got to bring your A, day, a game every day because, you know, like, the other, the other person is not going to slack, so you always got to come prepared or you got to bring your best. You know, it's just fun to watch and fun to be with them guys every day. Some of my best friends, honestly. Javon, uh, Coach Roxley and, and some of the offensive coaches that we spoke with yesterday, you know, have spoken about your versatility, not only what you bring to the running game, but the pass catching game and obviously special teams as well. Um, you know, how. How do you see yourself impacting the team most this year? And what does it kind of mean to ha hear them say, you know, that you're appreciated for that versatility? I just try to be the best player I could be, best teammate I could be. You know, if I got to catch, if I got to block, if I got to do anything, I'll do it. You know, I just try to pick up my game from last year. You know, I wanted to work on catching more this, this year, blocking more, mm -hmm. just bring my game up to the next level every time. You know, I don't want to stay the same. I just want to keep improving. Does, does Scotty recruit you for Duke or for East Carolina? East Carolina okay. at corner. At corner. Yeah. Okay. Offer me a corner. So he actually gets to coach you here. Yeah, yeah. Um, just uh, what what are his strengths? You think as a coach in terms of how he deals with you guys and teaches you? Uh, he's the type of coach that he just like he makes you feel like you could do anything. Like he's gonna get you real motivated. He's gonna he's gonna talk to you. You know, he's gonna bring like I said that swagger. And he just makes you feel good about yourself and just. You can go against anybody and do your best. That's the type of coach he is. How, how have you stayed, as it seems like, as patient as you are, given <laughs> your production? I mean, it seems like, I forget what it was, freshman year, I think you had like six carries and almost oh, yeah. like four or five touchdowns, <laughs> yes, sir. something like that. And it, and it continued last year and, and similar. Mm -hmm. how, how hard has it been to sort of stay patient and, and stay, you know, like, you know, obviously you know, you know what Ant did last year, yeah. what Lolo's done in the past. I kind of like, I learned a lot about myself actually going through all that, but I knew what type of player I was. I knew I could always bring something to the table. I just needed an opportunity. So I waited, I prayed a lot, and I just waited for the opportunity. Anytime I got a chance to, I tried to do my best. And it worked out for the best. But like I said, all that waiting is actually, everything's falling into place now. So I got a bigger role, I'm starting to do more. So like I said, everything's falling into place. Do you think that the, the coaching change just because they sort of started with a clean slate and put everybody at the same, you know, on the same page helps you? Yeah, definitely. There's new opportunities, you know, the whole new coaching staff came in. So it was like, like you said, a fresh start. Forget everything that happened last year in the past, you know, just start fresh with these new coaches and show them what you could do. Was it motivating for you last year not not to start the season on the depth chart? And then it seemed like you worked your way up then. Nah, that was definitely motivation. You know, seeing all the other backs get in the game, you know, do what they do, and I, I didn't really get to play as much as I wanted to, but when I got in, like I said, I knew what I could do, and I tried to do my best, but that was definitely motivation for me to be the player I could be this year and just to keep working. When you guys have four or five guys in that room, they could all realistically be 20 carry it back. Yeah. How does everyone kind of keep each other up when you're also competing for that sort I of mean, stuff? We're, we're so close in the room, like our friendship is so close, you know, we just motivate each other when you go in. I say, if, if Tayon goes in, I'll be like, come on, Fleet, you know, do what you do. If Ant goes in, I say the same thing for him. Because we all know what we could do. We all know that we could help this offense score a lot of points. So there's no hate, there's no jealousy between us. It's all just a, you know, a close bond. And I think that really helps us when it comes to going on the field and competing against other teams. So when somebody else hits a, a home run shot and then you come in and then you go 80, <laughs> what do you say to each other when you come off the field? Hey. That's what you do. Like, yeah. That's what you do. I say it to Ant. He says it to me. I say it to Fleet. You know, do what you do. Do why we came here. You know, so we just got to do that. Whenever you see a new staff come in, one of the things you hear about is they want buy-in. They want people to, to you know, believe in what they're saying. Mm -hmm. But you guys obviously had a really tight bond as a team throughout last season. How yeah. much has that helped you guys just kind of invest immediately in what they want you to do at this mm -hmm. point since you guys are as you know, as a team, we, we hit rock bottom already, so we know what it feels like to be there. We know what it feel like to get to the, get through the adversity. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, when the coaches came in, we already knew what we had to do. We already we wanted a fresh start as a team. So, you know, we were prepared for it. We just waited to see who our coach was going to be. And we found out it was Locks. You know, everybody was real excited because he's from here and the recruiting he does. So 
we were all biding quick. Like like I said, we already hit rock bottom, so we just we trying to go up from there. And, and with Scotty, you know, does he you know talk to you guys at all about you know his experience in the NFL or you know kind of like what it takes to get there? Like, and how yeah. does that help and motivate you? Yeah, Scotty's funny. He tries to brag. You know, like he's <laughs> he's the best receiver. <laughs> nah, but he, he he's, he's he's a great coach. You know, he doesn't talk too much about his experience, but you know, like. If I if I drop a ball, you know, it'd be like like catch the jugs after practice. You know, you gotta do something different to make it to that next level. He just tries to give us like everything he's been through and his experience. He tries to lean on us, lean on us, and just tell us that and guide us in the right way. What's your relationship with the offensive line? That was my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> As a running back, yeah. the offensive line has to be your best friend. You know, yeah. after every play, I'm either dabbing them up, saying good job, I need y'all. Before yeah. the play, I need y'all. I'm yeah. always constantly saying I need y'all. I want them to know that I appreciate them for blocking. How do you get the timing? You guys did a lot of pulling and all those jet sweeps. How yeah. long does it take to get the timing of those guards pulling in I mean, front I've of been, you? I've been with some of them linemen since, since freshman year, so it's been a couple of years. I'm starting to get used to them, but mm -hmm. just practice. Just you got to keep working at it. You get used to it. Right. Have, have you got any sense of how the running backs in general are going to be used in this system? Is it uh, spread the ball around or just have... I don't want to say too much, but yeah. we're going we gonna to be used a lot in different areas, you know, just to show our, like, I, like you guys said, show our versatility, yeah. see what we can do, catching, you know, on the backfield. A lot of stuff is going to be done with us this year. If, if you look at um, how Mike's used running backs yeah. from when he was a running backs coach here, mm -hmm. um, when he had Lamont Jordan, people like that, yeah. and, and even in Alabama, obviously, I mean, it, it's not just running out of the backfield. He exactly. wants you guys to be able to catch yeah. and make plays, mm -hmm. you know, catching the ball. How different is that going to be? I mean, they talked about it last year, but it, it seemed like there was just this reliance on the jet sweep, and yeah. it sort of that became the offense. Mm -hmm. I'm actually pretty excited for you know just to see what we could do coming out the backfield, mm -hmm. trying to catch the ball. And he just uses us in so many different areas. It's, it's going to be really fun to see just getting us in space and just taking advantage of that. So I think we got the right players to do that. What's the benefit of being able to practice in New Cole? What do you think of that facility? Oh, that facility is beautiful. It's so nice, you know. They they did their uh, they did a great job building it. You know, I, I remember when I was getting recruited, I was probably the most thing I was excited for is the cold stadium, mm -hmm. and just the fact that we got the indoor now is just it's really nice. How much of Alabama did you watch after Loxley retired? Uh, we watch. I probably me personally, mm -hmm. I, I'll be watching film, you know, on the running backs just to see what type things they do or what what they did in the offense. But before Coach Locks even got here, I, I was a fan of Bama. Mm -hmm. You know, just. It's bad, but <laughs> I was a fan of them, just watching them do what they do, and they excel at a high level. So, yeah. so who are you in from Alabama's offense in this in this offense? Uh, uh, I don't want to compare myself. Okay. That's it. I don't want to compare myself. Coach Montgomery threatened to send you to the DB rooms if you're not listening to him. Nah, but no, nobody, nobody on the team seems to believe that he offered me a corner. So <laughs> when I say that, I'd be like, Coach, can you please tell him that you offered me a corner. He's like, that's a true story. So mm -hmm. I, I like when he says that. It just prove everybody wrong. So nobody mm -hmm. won't believe it. Probably believe it because he catch passes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how good a cornerback were you? Oh, no, no, no. I wasn't a quarterback. I was a corner. Corner, that's yeah. what, yeah. Oh, How I was pretty good. good. No, I was really good. I was really good. Actually, mm -hmm. at one point, I did want to change my position in high school, but, mm -hmm. you know, my uh, coach at the time at Page, he was like, you're playing running back. You're going to be great at running back. So I was just mm -hmm. like, all right, coach, you know, I'm just stick with the running back. Well, when somebody offered you a corner, are you like, yeah, no, thanks? Or was no, it no, no. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't until I, uh, I committed, okay. but I was thinking about it up until my commitment. Okay. I was like, Shh, I might go with VTech, play corner. They offered me a corner, too. So I was mm -hmm. like, there's a bunch of places I might yeah. want to switch, but I committed. I was like, I'm just playing running back. <laughs> Is the running back room Xbox or PlayStation? We are PlayStation. What <laughs> What's your best game? Uh oh, we're we're big Madden fans. Mm -hmm. We all play Madden every day after practice, after we do homework, all that stuff. We play Madden or Fortnite. Okay. Madden or Fortnite. Okay, so who wins in that? <sighs> the best Madden player. Yeah. Out of, I'm just the three backs: Tayon Philly Davis, Anthony McFarland, and me. The best Madden player. Is Anthony McFarland and the best Fortnite player is Tayon Fee Davis. I'm the best 2K player. 2K okay. Player. Good. <laughs> uh, somebody asked about Game of Thrones the other night. Are you part of the Game of Thrones? I do not watch Game of okay. Thrones. No, sir. Okay. I, I tried to watch it. You know, my little brother tried to get me to watch it. I was not interested okay. at all. So the running back room is not Game of Thrones. You're no, not trying nobody. to kill each other. Or... One person, Lolo. Lolo. Mm -hmm. Lorenzo okay. Harrison, He's. I think he's the Game of Thrones guy. But okay. I don't think Jake Funk is, Tayon. But you're not trying. they're not trying to kill each other to sit on the throne. Nah. Okay. <laughs> know. We, all, we all just work together. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are we wrapping with that? No. <laughs> Where do you go from there? Right.